Assalamu alaikum. Um, does anyone have any questions regarding the film? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Actually, uh, we do usually, we screen the film, so <coughs> it is 90 minutes. And then you get an idea about the situation in Palestine and the life and the struggle and really what's going on. So you have general idea about what you are going to ask. So I don't know if you have seen the film. How many of you have seen the film, Five Broken Cameras? Just one. So I, <laughs> I know that you are waiting to watch the film. So uh, I don't have to, to say too much you know, before that, because you don't have any questions and you don't have any idea about the, the, the film. Any what was your experience with the Yeah, I, I understood something of your speech when you were talking about this subject. You know, uh, I did this film and I was working on this film for the first five years, my own, without any help any, and any support. So I started with a small camera, and the camera made some problems sometimes, because to get a camera in Palestine in that moment, it was very difficult, even in my situation. So the economic situation in general and the political situation is not, uh, is not good. Uh, So it's not uh, when you are you, you have a production uh, a company and you get some support from different countries and you have a, a cinema industry in your country and you fund and everything. We don't have this in Palestine. We don't have fund government fund. We don't have cinema industry in Palestine. So most of the filmmakers who make films, they make by their own, their money and their, uh, you know, so their equipment, the equipment, equipment that you have. So after doing uh, and constructing the film and the story and the, uh, the characters and following uh, the story for uh, five years and filming, documenting, I was really needed a help to get some support or fund to finish the film and to pay rights, we we pay rights for uh, music, for editing, for uh, many things, and it's a lot of money. So I I asked him, uh, Guy David, if he can join the project and to support, to help, to finish the film. And he is, you know, he is activist. He came to the village to to give solidarity. He's not uh, a cooperation. It's not cooperation. So he was happy to join and to help, and uh, you know, so we work uh, on the editing even in my house. Uh, we started the editing, and then we did another editing in France when a, a production company, French production company. So uh, yeah, so th th that's the role that he played in, in the film. Uh, when you have uh, no much, you don't have much resources, so you have to look for uh, resources to, to you know, uh, to to uh, to make your project. And uh, my main project and my bare boss was to finish this film and to finish the project and to share it with the world. And it was very uh, successful. I was when I was thinking to make this film, and I did it. Alhamdulillah. I was not thinking about 
to be a famous person or to be a rich man or to be a Hollywood star or to be anything. I'm not, I'm, my, my life is still the same. So now nothing has been changed on my life, on my family life. So even there's no more pressures and challenges on me from the both sides even. Uh, with regards to uh, 100 Balfour Road, um, one of the questions I always get is why did you choose uh, to present the analogy uh, through a, a British family instead of a Palestinian family? Why did you use a British family? Now, uh, to put it into context, the film was came as part of a campaign and a petition in 2007 uh, requesting the British government to apologize for the Balfour Declaration. The Balfour Declaration, as we said, was in 1917. So 2017, it's 100 years. So in that memory, uh, at least, you know, apologize for the suffering that you have caused for the, Palestinian, for the Palestinians. Now, the British government uh, refused to... Um, uh, to, to apologize and it actually celebrated the sentinel it celebrated the 100 years of the Balfour Declaration and it invited the the Zionist uh, uh, minister uh, to the to the uh, Netanyahu to to UK and they had a, a party um, so so that's why the uh, we needed as many public uh, you know awareness we needed as many locals British people to sign this petition uh, so that they so that the government can actually accept to discuss the issue in in the parliament um, that's why we thought the best way to show that is that if we presented it to the public uh, through their own eyes something that feels more familiar um, however we kept we tried to keep some hints of Palestine in the film for example on the door uh, we have number 48 in the house, the, the number of the house, uh, 48, on the oven, the date on the oven or the timer, it says 1948. And uh, on the um, cookie recipe, which is on the fridge, there's also the date of the cookie recipe, 1948. As we said, 1948 is one of the dates of the Nakba. Uh, uh, the date when the Zionist movement started entering into Palestine and occupying it. Uh, thank you. Is there any questions? I just want to say thank you. Something about uh, the refugees and 48 and the the, the uh, Balfour de the Declaration. So about the population in Palestine uh, is uh, uh, six million who live in Palestine, Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza and uh, in 48. And it's around the, this number uh, uh, Jewish. So uh, about the refugees, when this decision was taken by the government of, uh, of UK, it's, you know, many people have, have been killed and their homes and their villages been destroyed to build and to establish the Israel state in 48. So there is more than six or eight millions refugees, Palestinian refugees, who live outside of Palestine. They are the second and the third generation of the people who was deported from their homes and uh, their land. So it is, uh, you know, uh, we remember that and every single Palestinian uh, who, uh, uh, even kids or anyone, they know about this uh, declaration and they know about Palestine and they know about the four, 48 and 67. So it is divided now, Palestine divided, 48, 67, Gaza, West Bank. And by building the wall, they started the plan of the wall, building the wall in 2000. They made a, a big cantons, 
like in the in in the West Bank. So there are many settlements in the West Bank, and there even there's no connection between the cities and the villages in the West Bank. And the plan was to 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 kill the dream of the Palestinian to uh, about two states uh, solution. Uh, I, I just uh, remember I want to thank you, uh, the organizers of the events, and all of you. And I want to thank you again for uh, your con contribution in, in the crowdfunding. Uh, it's really, uh, it, it, you know, it's kind of you. And I made, you know, this is my first time since I made the film. It has been uh, now, you know, six years. and. I've been through many countries around uh, across the world. I've been traveling, but really, this is the first time that I start crowdfunding. I didn't want to start any kind. Somebody, you know, uh, he told me, uh, "Why you don't try?" So, uh, you know, I didn't want even to to start uh, crowdfunding. So I wanted to try it, and I want. Uh, that uh, more and uh, because you have many friends. So I want to see who is your friend and who is not. So I wanted, yeah. So I, I was needed more people to participate and to contribute in this, not to, to go to someone who has the money and to put it uh, on the on the account. Thank you very much. So, but you know, if you need uh, to put this money not in this crowd fund and to put, to, to give it to more uh, something effective or uh, poor people or anything it's uh, you know i prefer that <laughs> thank you very much uh, the apology campaign uh, in 2017 the British government has the right to call for election at any time. If it calls for an election, then any petition uh, up to that date is cancelled. Uh, they give a very short reply and then that's it. It's cancelled. It doesn't go to parliament. Uh, and that's what happened. In May uh, 2017, they called for an election, which happened, I think, in June or July. Uh, and they replied regarding the petition that uh, number one is cancelled. Number two, they, they gave a reply regarding uh, the, pa the um, Palestinian suffering and that it should not happen. But they also denied any uh, apology. Assalamu alaikum. My question is to Imasar. Uh, although you have so many uh, uh, barricades or seizing from the Zionist government, although throughout all this you have shooted or documented those uh, things which they are doing to our, these Palestinian peoples. So what was the source of this energy which made you to complete this documentary? And also the Zionists thought that the Palestinian will, Palestinian civilians will forget about their origins as they, their, their dominions will came over them and uh, after that there will, there will be any protest against that. But still we understand the Palestinians are protesting for their right uh, till now. So what, was the, what is the source of this power which is uh, guiding you through this protest? You know, our, our belief in our rights and our home, our land, our people, it's our faith that give you the, the, the energy and the power to continue the struggle. Because, you know, it is uh, everything that where you live is related to you. It is your, your history, you know. And it is when you look to the uh, olive tree, it's around 500 or 1,000 years, uh, an olive tree. It's not just for me an olive tree. It is a history in Palestine, of Palestine, 
or you uh, look into the eyes of an old man, 100 years, who lives in the same place and his home in, his, in, in this village or in that village. So this, you know, give you the power and the energy to continue. So this is the relation with our land and our families and our, uh, uh, you know, our, uh, <coughs> uh, it, is, it is more uh, uh, belief, you know, believe. It's not hope. So people sometimes ask you if you have hope to change or to get liberty or to change the situation. I see the situation is getting worse every day. But it's not just, uh, it's not about hope. If that hope, you will lose the hope one day. But it's more faith and belief that one day we will get our land back and we will get our freedom. So that's what makes you strong and uh, you will never give up. Right wing uh, media in, 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 in Palestine. Uh, you know, there's uh, some uh, in, in, in the reaction in, in Israel because the film also was a screen in Israel. And this is one of the purposes that, you know, I uh, called the uh, guy to participate in this project in terms to screen the film to the Israeli society. So I couldn't do that, he could. So it is, you know, the film was screened there in TV and in cinemas. And, you know, there is good uh, reactions and uh, uh, response from Israelis. But the most of the reactions is be, was you know very very bad and uh, you know some people attack uh, us and attack me and attack the film and uh, so even uh, some media in, in Israel the, the right uh, wing media uh, so it is you know it's not it's normal it's, no, it's, it's normal that when you uh, face some challenge and uh, some bad response it, it's normal uh, so uh, nobody you know it's, it's perfect or you don't, uh, nobody uh, make uh, uh, some work or anything perfect. Perfect is God. Assalamu alaikum. I just want to ask the question, any of you may answer, please. The arts and the movies that are against the Palestine people, for instance, uh, Lebanese director Ziad Dori, you may know, recently his movie was, uh, movie was uh, nominated for Oscar, The Insult, namely in Arabic, Kaliyatu Rakam Thalasatu Waishreen. Hatta hadil is yushiru ila ikhtiyali bayar jamil fi Lebanon. Wa hatta fil ismi inna li ziyad dawri lahu agenda agenda tun lid the palestinian wa we know that it is going a normalization between the if the lebanese christians have suffered so as the palestinians have been suffering so it's equal and it's uh, and his uh, other movie aswadma the attack talks about a doctor a Palestine doctor who is staying in Israel and he is pictured as the good Muslim. He, he, he is receiving uh, the awards from Israel government for the best doctor. So there is a normalization going through his films, Ziyad Dawri. And he had many in many interviews he had openly expressed that I have been living in Israel and I went to Israel and in my childhood I thought Israel was a big problem. Now I see the people close, they are not any problem. Uh, so, so it's a normalization going. So how you see that and how, uh, for instance, the BDS have itself 
boycotted his movies and his movie was boycotted in the festival of Ramela. Because I asked this question because uh, insult came in Kerala for the uh, festival, but the people, the Nukad Huna, La Yarifu Mawara'a, La Yarifu Agenda, Agenda Tula. They simply write the, it's the humanity, it's the talk of the life. Like, so, how do you face these things, this normalization that coming from uh, the artistic side means the movies and there are many performers that medias have boycotted themselves who are uh, conducting con concerts in Israel. So how do you see this? <clears throat> yeah, no, yeah he, uh, some, uh, some people and organizations and even governments they use uh, uh, the agenda to uh, make normali normalization with Israel. So they have agenda. You know, even the governments and the regimes, uh, uh, the Arab countries now and uh, some uh, Muslim countries are doing normal normalization with, with Israel. So it is depend what is your agenda of making the film what is your agenda of making uh, your documentary and who is uh, supporting you so some sometimes you think that uh, somebody is doing a normalization but uh, maybe you don't know his agenda about his work no so i don't know too much about uh, uh, the films you have mentioned, the Lebanese and the other uh, uh, films about making it a normalization, and uh, I don't know any information about them. But since we live in Palestine under occupation, uh, under the military law, we uh, refuse to make normalization with the with the Israeli government. So. As we are alive, we, uh, our life is mixed with the Israelis and some uh, people who make relation with the Israel because we have to, we don't have border, we don't have, uh, we, we don't control anything in, 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 in the West Bank. So everything has to be, you know, th through the Israelis, even when you export or import, import something. And some workers who work also in Israel, because it, it's been for a long time, it's not, doesn't mean that this normalization, because you know, we still live under occupation, and we live under occupation, and we are not a state. We, we are not, uh, uh, we don't have liberation. So it's not uh, like when uh, a, a, a country with the state, like uh, uh, you know, Emirates or Bahrain or uh, 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 the regime in, in uh, Saudi or Egypt make a normalization with Israel. Even they they don't have uh, 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 just they they have new uh, relation, political or diplomatic relations, and they started already to make normal normalization. For so for the Palestinians politicians. Most of them, and the diplomatic, Palestinian diplomatics, and the people of Palestine, it's not uh, acceptable to, to do normalization with the Israelis, even that it was that from other uh, Arab countries or Muslim countries, because this is, will influence the, the Palestinian struggle.